We're now going to talk about the gallery. The first time you use the gallery, it must be built though. With the gallery window open, you'll be able to see there's two panes. The top pane is where you keep your folders. You can have folders in folders and this helps organize everything. The images that can be used will appear in the bottom. The first image we're going to look at is that. It is an image. You just click and drag the image out and place it onto a workspace page. I'm going to show you another type of file and I'm just going to navigate down to another folder. I'm going to open it. And when it finishes building, you're going to see a new different feature about these. You see how you have the little dog ear corner? That's letting me know that it is an image page. Image pages cannot be manipulated. However, you can still annotate on them and use them as a background. The third type of file that comes with your workspace content is called a sim. So you'll navigate to the inner right sims folder and you can search by different subjects. And how you'll be able to identify the sim is the little f. These are interactive flash files. So now that we have seen the three different types of files, let's go take a look at them a little bit closer. The image file again is a image so this can be selected using your selection tool and you can grab it and you can move it on the page to where you would like it. You can also resize the image. I can now start to annotate right on top of that image. I'm going to go ahead and write earthquake and again at this point I could hand this off to the students and they can then start to look at the cause and effects of an earthquake. The second file we dragged in was an image page. The image page is non-editable. So even though I might grab my selection tool, I cannot move it, but I can annotate easily right on top of the image page. The good thing is it cannot accidentally be erased or moved. So I'm trying to select it and it won't do anything. The last file was a sim flash file. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my selection tool and I can drag on this particular sim one part of the heart and drag it into the appropriate box. If it's correct, it will stay. If it's not correct, it snaps back. It's a flash file. It's interactive.